And many say that the biggest risk to the market is the possible exit of the United Kingdom from the European Union. Central banks around the world are acknowledging it as Britons get ready to go to the polls one week from today. Wilfred Frost tells us what investors should watch if they vote to leave the EU. If Britain votes to leave, what should you watch out for? The first thing is pressure on UK Prime Minister David Cameron to resign. If he does, the government is dissolved, but we do not get fresh nationwide elections as all members of Parliament remain the same. We would see a battle within the Conservative Party to be the new party leader, which would take a few months. Boris Johnson would be the clear favourite. However, election rules mean this is not a simple populist vote and other candidates would certainly have a chance. Second, watch for immediate and systemic financial contagion. The risk, though, of this is very low because the exit vote would just mark the start of separation negotiations. Furthermore, the UK is not part of the single currency, so immediate banking contagion fears are reduced. This is perhaps why we've not yet seen a sharp reduction in US equities. Third, over the medium term, watch for the impact on UK and European growth. Negotiations will likely take anywhere from two to seven years, depending who you listen to. This will reduce investment and with it, growth. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, in the longer term, watch for a political reaction across Europe. Do the anti-EU parties like the National Front in France, Podemos in Spain and AFD in Germany gain support? The key will be maintaining the pro-EU status quo in terms of governments in French and German elections in 2017 would be crucial for the long-term future of the rest of the European Union. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Wilfred Frost.